my name is Janelle and welcome to my channel today I will be going over composting what it is how to do it and at the end giving you tips and tricks on how to make your compost better faster and go farther um, today I will be reviewing two types of algae composters that I purchased for an amazing price and this is for this video will be for any uh, novice gardeners like myself, I'm only three years in, or people who want to step their garden up to the next level but want to try it at an affordable price point before you spend the money because these composts, especially the tumbling composters, can be pricey. And I'll be showing you different types of composters and how it looks. So without further ado, let's dive in. These are some awesome Aldi finds. If you are a beginner gardener or you're a gardener who want to take your garden up to the next level, um, these are some phenomenal finds from Aldi. And of course, Aldi prices are just as nice. So I'm more so a beginner gardener. This would be my third year. And I wanted to step up my garden a bit and get a comp start composting. And so I first found this composter, um, which is basically a countertop bin. And this is a tumbling composter because I realized um, once I bought that when I came home, and I started to look at how to actually do compost. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to do all that work. So let me get something that can tumble. And this is, they had this on sale the same time. And I was like, wow, it was a great price. Let me go get it. And then this is a greenhouse. Um, I wanted to do the greenhouse because I want to compare um, doing a garden um, between in the garden, a raised bit, and also in the greenhouse. This way I can bring this in in the wintertime and put some grow lights in it and still have my garden continue to flourish. So just now I, I'll, I'll go over the actual the greenhouse in another video. I'll put a so I'll put a link below if you'd like to watch that video. So this compost bucket, what I liked about it is, first of all, the price was only $14 or $14.99, something like that. And it came in several different colors. So I think it was like red, blue, like turquoise or something. Gray was different colors. So you can really choose which one you, which one you wanted. Um, what's included with this is two odorless filters and composable bags and um, stainless steel handle easy for transporting your garden so at first I was just going to do this but then I realized this is not a large enough container in order for me to have compost on a consistent basis and here on the back it just tells you how to use it and this is for countertops so I decided that I was going to put my scraps in here and I can put it in a uh, in a deep freezer until I can take it outside um, or as it fills up. But if you don't have a composter like this container, you can actually just put it in a Ziploc bag and just put it in your deep freezer. What I found is that the, if you put your food scraps in the deep freezer, it starts to break it down faster for your compost. And these are some of the things that you can compost um, that they recommend. Fruits and vegetables, eggshells, coffee grounds, tea bags. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Okay. I'm really excited about this. Okay. So I like that the lid has aeration so you can the um, compost can breathe which is what it's supposed to do oh, okay so this is actually pretty heavy mm, that's pretty heavy um it does have this handle on it which is nice it's actually pretty deep Let's see. These are the bags that it comes with. Let's see how they actually look. Oh, how cute. And it says compostable bags, um, warning, dangerous suffocation. Okay, so just to keep things. But really, these kind of remind me of like those um, dog bags. Like if I don't have a pet, but like people who 
care of their dogs. It kind of remind me of that. Um, I like the fact that this is dishwasher friendly and the lid goes on just like that. How cute. And so that's the whole look of it. And then the filters to keep it smelling good. Let's take a look. So it's just a round disc. And you put it down at the bottom of the bag. I mean the bin and put the bag in. It's actually a lot of bags. It look like to me. Oh, okay. So let's see how wide these are. So it says put your food scraps in before it and during your meal, after your meal prep. And then once your counter is full, you can either remove the waste and put in your compostable bags or you can toss it in your yard. So another tip that I found out with your compost, if you put your scraps in your Vitamix or your, your Ninja or whatever blender you have, if you blend up all your um, compost before you put it in the yard, it also helps to let, oh, that's so cute helps it to break down faster so this is the compost bucket i do like this buy so far and i am really happy with it so let's go ahead to the next one so this could be something you do in the house and now let's look at our compost tumbler that we can use outdoors all right so here is our tumbling composter i am so excited about this the thing that i like about this is it was only 34.99 what a great deal for this tumbling composter most of these are really expensive um and for me i like to start off inexpensive to see if i like it if i'm going to stick with it and then i have no problem with upgrading what i like about this is it also says it's ready to compost within four to six weeks it's 18.5 gallon i love the fact that aldi gives a two-year warranty they're really good on their products i love the fact that there is no hand mixing okay so less work as a lazy gardener <laughs> because i want the 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 um fruits of my labor but not having to work so hard fast and easy assemble convenient sliding door which is this here chamber locking mechanism which i believe is here and heavy duty for all season construction that is key because i live in a cold environment as well as a i have all four seasons here so i love that um internal mixing bars included already talked about the locking mechanism convenient door slide you just tumble it again no mixing and it looks like it's a, a not, looks like it's pretty small actually turn it this way first look inside the box looks like it's nicely packed And the box is not very heavy at all, so it's easy to lift. Okay, so you have two sides. I guess this part goes to the doors. These must be the feet and the locking mechanism. This is the tumbling part. A latch. This, these are the legs. So there's a lot of pieces. This must be the slot and door. Okay. All right. So, 
So just so you know the instructions, it's just really straightforward picture instructions. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and see how long it actually takes me to put together. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put this together and I will show you how it all looks in the end. Okay, so this is the finished composter. Okay, now this is how it tumbles. Now you see you have air holes that allows all of your food to be properly aerated. Okay, and then as you tumble, it's so easy to tumble. This is the door. I'll show you inside in a minute. And then you have these plastic legs, well, metal legs, plastic legs. This is the stopper on the side. So what you do is you just put it into a groove, pull it up, and it stops it from being able to tumble okay so this is the door Sides. and as you can see it's really deep I stick my hand all my arm all the way in there okay and you don't want it to be more than 44 pounds I'm gonna show you a closer look okay all the way in there And remember, you want to have your pieces, if you do cardboard, you want pieces like this. These small pieces so that it can decompose a lot quicker than if you have a large piece of cardboard. Such as this. This will take forever to decompose. And then as far as your clippings, you can put, these are pieces of my um, plants that have started to fall off and cherry blossom tree and all you can do is just now if you have small batches you can just cut them up like this to put them in there to break it down a lot faster if you have a large amount I wouldn't do this for a large amount of food your banana pills apple um, orange pills lemon pills anything avocado pills you can put all that stuff in there and you see it's still so much more that can be put in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, oh, and then let me show you how it tumbles. I just love the way it tumbles. Close the door. Let me take off the locking mechanism. It just rolls very easy. And you just do it seven times. Make sure the door is completely closed and put some water in there. And that's it. Oh, also, it's going to be 120 degrees inside here, but like right now, it's a cold day, so it's about six, almost 60 degrees. In the winter time, you're going to want to bring this inside um, so that the stuff inside don't freeze, or if you do keep it outside, you do not want to turn it. So we're going to go ahead and give you some tips and tricks. Awesome. So now that I've shown you the different types of composters that Aldi's offer, now I want to get into, you know, how we can make that compost go faster, longer, and get that black gold for our garden. So what is compost? Compost is that black gold that we all want for our garden. And the reason why is it's an organic matter, not organic to the point of saying it's um, hormone free, but because it just depends on what you're putting inside of your compost as scraps, but it's organic, meaning it was once living. And now that it's once living, it's something that we can use those nutrients that 
were in the scraps that we used or the food that we actually ate, the micronutrients and the minerals. And now we can use that to compost, to fertilize our garden, to give our garden, our plants, our veggies, that extra, um, um, you know, extra vitamins and minerals that it needs in order for it to grow and flourish. The beautiful thing about composting is that it's free. <laughs> You're essentially just recycling the things that you already have and already use to be put back into your garden. Um, now, again, if you want more organic, like I would prefer organic for mine, you need to definitely watch what you're going to put inside your compost, what types of food you're going to put in it so that you know that it's organic. Because sometimes we'll buy organic food from the store, but we don't know is it really organic, you know, or is it just less pesticides that they're putting in it? So you want to be very careful with the things you put in it. On top of it, compost is the best stuff that we can give our garden. It's the best stuff that we can give our plants in order for them to grow and just be fruitful um, and give us that, that return that we're really looking for to be able to feed ourselves and our family. I know myself, when I, I the reason why I decided to compost now is because now that I've got, kind of gotten my feet a little dirty, you know, a little wet with um, gardening, now I want to have a larger garden. I want to be able to feed my family instead of me always going out buying organics to feed us um, where it's financially affordable. You know, it's not that expensive and we can have it at our fingertips whenever we need it. I mean, there's so many things going on down there. The coronavirus has been here. You know, there was food that wasn't on the shelves. I mean, you know, there was a lack of, you know, you weren't supposed to go out and actually go to the supermarket. So I just want to be in a position so that if this ever happens again, <laughs> you know, I know that I have enough food for my family, you know, and even my extended family so that I can help feed them if they need it and it's healthy and it's you know organic so it's not I don't I know what's going into my body now with your compost you want it to be two different parts one is carbon one is nitrogen okay now it should be three parts carbon to one part nitrogen and basically what that means three part brown to one part green so what are browns wood chips, cardboard, papers, old books, uh, magazines, leaves, all those things are brown. Now you want to also have greens, which is your nitrogen, and that would be grass clippings. But again, be careful with grass clippings because you don't want to be putting like red X and all those different things, weed killers in your grass and then put it in your compost and then you're putting it on your food. So you want to be very careful with the type of um, grass clippings that you put in it or don't just grab somebody off their, you know, uh, your, you ask a friend or neighbor and you don't know what they're actually putting in their garden. Also, anything leafy, like leafy greens, coffee grounds, tea uh, bags, coffee filters. Um, and what you want to do is you want to layer your browns and your greens, if you can. You know, it's not necessary, especially if you have a tumbling composter like I showed you today. But it is still good if you want to put it in so that it's like brown, green, brown, green, brown, green. And then that way when you're tumbling it or you're doing a hand compost, it actually um, mixes really good. Now, what are some other things you can put in there? Look, if you have old encyclopedias, you know, eggshells, um, old house plants, old soil, as long as they, it was in root rotted soil or disease or a lot of bugs or any insects in your soil, moldy bread, um, anything basically, I mean, no plastics, um, no meat, no dairy, no cheese, only because you don't want, or at least I don't, I don't want to attract pests and insects. First of all, if it's going to my compost and it's close to my house, then you could be bringing them into your house. So that's an absolute no-no. But you don't want that type of stuff inside your um, compost. You want it. You don't want it to be smelling and, 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 and attracting things that you don't want to put into your garden or put into your your fer the fertilizer that fertilizer to be put into your food. So just stay away from those types of things. But wood chips, you don't want to put um, charcoal like from the grill. You don't want to put that in there. But household paper. Now, what happens when you're composting is you can have a cold compost or a warm compost. 
We really want a warm composter. The tumbling composter is a warm composter. Basically what it means is that once your items inside your composter reaches a temperature between 120 to 140, is starting to cook is basically starting to break down all of the items inside your compost bin and it's going to uh it's going to get hot so that temperature is going to get hot and you want it's going to start breaking down so you can get the good bacteria that you need in order for it to be a great fertilizer become that black gold now what you want to do is which i showed you with this composter you want to make sure you have air and moisture inside your composter you don't want too much moisture like you don't want it to be like a soaking wet um wash rag or a sponge you want it to be like a damp sponge you want to wring it out and make sure that it's damp it's moist but you don't want to dry either so a moist sponge is exactly what you want to keep it from to keep it decomposing and breaking down now, on with this tumbler, it didn't say how many days or how often you should tumble it in the instructions, but from my research, making sure you tumble it at least every other day, which I'll be doing, um, is a good way to make sure that your compost is breaking down and being completely incorporated at a good ratio. Um, for me, I think I'm going to do it like seven times when I roll it because it kind of reminds me of, um, what is it, the price is right? When they roll it, they don't go, you know, it kind of reminds me of that. So it's kind of fun. So I don't mind doing it. But it did say, don't put more than 44 pounds of food, paper, whatever, inside of your composter at any given time. And another thing is said that once you fill it up, do not start adding new compost in it because then it's going to start all the way from scratch and that is not what you want. So myself, I might be getting another one because that way I can be filling up one compost, a composter and then removing the other one, you know, and as soon as that one is finished, restarting it again. So that's an option for you if you like. Um, now, you'll know when it's done when it becomes uniformed in color it starts to look crumbly it's dark brown and it has that earthy smell to it that is will allow you to know that it is on that it's basically done and you can start moving it what i like about it too is you can just put a bucket on the bottom and just dump it out you know and put it in your um put it in whatever bag that you need and start all over again and now that compost that has been broken down is now a perfect fertilizer for your plants and your veggie garden um, so that you can give your garden the most nutrients that it really wants. And they also said that if you start to see worms in it, that means it is good to go. Now, another thing that you can do with your compost is make a compost tea. This is something that allows you to stretch your compost out and to be able to um, give your plants some additional nutrients. So how you do it is you just put some of the compost inside of a bucket and you pour water in it. Now, this time it can be soaking wet. It really can be just like a tea bag, you know, like if you're having tea, you can really saturate that compost. Stick it in the sun after about four or five days. You can take it out and you can now put that water, that compost tea, into your garden and water your garden. And it's supposed to be like the most amazing amazing stuff possible. Now, you'd also want to make sure that you don't get compost like directly on your food, you know, on your vegetables, you want to just make sure it's in the dirt, you know, so when you're using that compost tea, don't pour it on top, just pour it right inside the bed of your garden. And make sure you have enough browns to your greens. If it starts to rot or it's starting to smell, maybe you have too much food and not enough um, of your carbon that needs to go inside of it so that it's not breaking it down at a good pace. So you just want to watch it and pay attention to see what's going on. Okay, or, and make sure that, you know, you keep it closed so that it's still aerated, but it's not soaking wet. Okay, so those things will help you get to your healthy soil and the compost that you want to put into your garden. 
So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that this has helped you in some way. I know it has helped me and I am so excited and looking forward to going to use my composter and start to fill it up. So I hope that, so if this is something that you're interested in, please feel free to go ahead and try it out and get yourself one. So you can go ahead and feed your family food from the most nutrient rich soil at an affordable price and that you know what's going to be in it. So thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in seeing the greenhouse, being put together i'll also put that link below so please like subscribe and share and into the next one laugh love live life to the fullest and don't forget to live your passion bye